Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi Decentralized Finance and Crypto tutorial. Today, more than $3 million have been stolen from Bordep Yacht Club NFT holders. This is a very sad event and I just heard about it from my friend. Lucky you, I'm a DeFi, crypto and cybersecurity expert and today we're gonna one, understand what happened, how the hackers stole 54 board Ape Yacht Club NFTs from the holders. Every one of them, based on the floor price, is around 100 ETH, I think, which is around $300,000. This is millions of dollars. So first, we're gonna understand how this hack happened. Secondly, we're gonna understand by understanding the attacker minds and how they behave, how you can protect if you are a holder of board Ape yacht club or other nfts project how you can make sure that it won't happen the next time to you all the necessary steps that you need to make and do right now to learn in this video so you won't be the victim of this kind of attack in the next time and if this kind of content is something that you like and might be interesting in make sure to subscribe and click the bell notification button so when i post more tutorials about security DeFi, nfts and crypto you can get notified now without further ado let's get started All right, so it all started several hours ago when Bordep Air Club, the official Twitter account, posted on Twitter, there is no mint going on today. It looks like Bordep Air Club Instagram was hacked. Do not mint anything, click links or link your wallet to anything. And then this guy posted a comment where a lot of Bordep Air Club a compromise. Now, following this tweet, they posted another tweet. This morning, the official Bored Ape Yacht Club Instagram account was hacked. The hacker posted a fraudulent link to a copycat of Bored Ape Yacht Club website with a fake airdrop where users were prompted to sign a safe transfer from transaction. This transferred their assets to the scammer's wallet. So this is the phishing attack and we understand exactly how it works and how you can protect. So again, they also posted on their official Insta Instagram account. Once they got the control back over the Instagram account, even though it was protected with two factor, two two two-factor authentication, the hacker was able to hack the Instagram account and post this kind of fake phishing post with a fake phishing link to his own malicious website. If you're affected by the hack or have information, let's go to the past, uh, to the first tweet, first uh, post. This Instagram account was hacked earlier today. At the time of the hack, two-factor authentication was enabled and security surrounding this account followed best practices. Even though there was best practices, still the account was hacked. Yuga's team has regained control of this account and we are investigating how the hacker gained access to the Instagram account Steam. Swipe for more and then for the safety of, for the, of our community we will not be posting anything in our Instagram account and on other Instagram accounts only on Twitter accounts. So anytime you see posts from Instagram accounts ignore them. They are not safe only based on the Twitter accounts right now. If you're affected by the hack or have information that might be helpful reach out at ighack at yugalabs.io and contact us first. So if you get emails or messages from Yuga Labs, from Bodep Yacht Club, do not answer them. It's probably going to be another scam, other scammers that are trying to ride the wave and scam other people as well. Only if you contact them first, they're going to uh, respond to you. So don't fall into this uh, riding the wave scam. So now let's try to understand how it actually happens. You can see also there is an article here in Coindesk. A uh, fraudulent mint link was sent to followers some appear to have uh, taken the bait. So what basically happened is that someone took compromise of this kind of board app, Yacht Club uh, account, Instagram official account. This is an account with more than 660k followers and he basically posts a post that says if you are holder of board app, Yacht Club or Mutant Ape Yacht Club, you are eligible for some kind of airdrop, land sale airdrop. We all heard that the upcoming land sale is gonna come to board the Yacht Club and they basically leverage this upcoming news to post this fake phishing message uh, to trick victims, people that are holding these NFTs, 
to fall for this kind of phishing attack. And then they had the link here in the description and the link followed to a website that once you click on the button to mint your land sale, you are basically activating a function that's called safe transfer form. And this function basically tells the smart contract of the NFT of Board Ape Yacht Club, I want to transfer my NFT, my Board Ape, to this kind of scammer wallet. And that way they stole 54 board API clubs that worth 13, around $13 million. And here we can see actually the wallet address of the scammer. This is the wallet address of the scammer on Etherscan, a website that basically allows us to track all the transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. And we can see that it's already labeled as the repository. This address was used in a phishing scam, please exercise caution when interacting with this address. So they already label it to protect the users that might uh, interact with this kind of address. And if we go to ERC721 tab and we click here to view all, we can see that it's a newly wallet that was set up specifically for this kind of hack. And we go to the last page, we can see a lot of transactions that basically People are sending from their, from their own address the Board App Yacht Club, the Mutant App Yacht Club, and other NFTs to this kind of wallet in. You see all these kind of in transactions nine hours ago from AX383, from Acaster.eth to this kind of fake phishing. And basically, people fold for this kind of scam they clicked the link they went to the website and they clicked mint nft sell they sent a transaction using their metamask wallet and basically they told to the smart contract i'm willing to send my ape my ape to this kind of address that's how it actually happened and let's understand a bit more by going into this kind of particular a transaction that this kind of victim over here you can see that it's a transaction that came from a legitimate wallet you can also click and go to the wallet you can see it's not a smart contract because you don't have the contract tab over here it's just a wallet and you can see that the ERC721 token with the ID 6178 was transferred to this fake phishing scam in order to verify it even let's go back in order to verify it, you can click here to see more and you can see the function that this wallet calls. So the user himself initiated this safe transfer form function and you can decode the input from the victim to the hacker. Token ID is basically the ape ID 6178 was hacked. So this is how the hackers basically made this kind of attack. It's very simple to execute and but actually very smart and sophisticated in terms of social engineering and phishing. And now that you understand how these hackers operate, let's try to level up your security and try to avoid these kind of attacks in the future. But because this is the goal here in my channel, Johnny Time, I'm trying to educate as many people as I can about DeFi, about crypto and the importance of cybersecurity. And again, if you appreciate the content, leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Now, let's see how we can protect. We have an example over here. This is PancakeSwap. This is a website, decentralized application, Web3 application where you connect with your MetaMask wallet to the website. If you are a holder of Board App Yacht Club or other NFTs, you are probably using a MetaMask wallet or a similar wallet. For example, if you're on Solana, you're probably using a Phantom wallet. The thing with this wallet is that it lets you interact using your web browser. It lets you connect to different blockchains and send transaction to smart contracts. For example, here there is the swap function. I can swap BNB token for cake token. I can click here the swap button. This is the exact same website that the victims browsed to mint their NFT, their land of the Board Ape Yacht Club official land sale, but it's just a different example. So they probably clicked mint NFT and I can click here swap and I can click here confirm swap and now there is a prompt of my MetaMask wallet that basically ask me to confirm a transaction and sign a transaction for my personal wallet to some kind of smart contract. I'm calling a function 
in a smart contract and this is exactly what happened to the victim it's basically they had a button they clicked it and they had a metamask prompt now what they did is basically they uh, blindly they didn't know what's the what's the issue so they blindly clicked here confirm and they sent the transaction now when you see that someone is giving you an airdrop or dropping you an nft or a token always be suspicious always be in a paranoid mode and don't because everything has a price and these scammers are aiming your greediness by making you click on those links and send those transactions so what you can do next time to avoid this kind of hack is always but always be in paranoid mode and always check here the data tab you can see over here there is the data tab and on the data tab on the metamask extension if it's another wallet it will have another tab maybe but you can see here what function you are calling exactly what function you are calling and if you have a bit more knowledge and you are educated and you are watching my videos and learning how smart contract works how blockchain works you know right now i'm calling a function called swap exact eth for tokens and you can see that i'm sending two parameters the address and the uh, amount okay so basically you can see that i'm calling a function that calls swap tokens because that's the function that i'm trying to do over here i'm trying to swap one token with another now if you would go to this fake phishing website and you click land sale the function name would be safe transfer form and then you would see that it's from your wallet to the, to the hacker's wallet and with the NFT ID and automatically you would understand that something is off here. You are not supposed to send safe transfer form to call safe transfer form function to send ERC721 token to another wallet. So this is how you could actually avoid this kind of attack, but that's not all. That's not all and wait because we have another very important things that you need to do in order to protect yourself for future hacks of NFTs or tokens in the future. Now, this MetaMask wallet, you have to understand that this is hot wallet. It's not a very secure wallet. It's actually not secure at all because if someone steals your 12 word seed phrase or if someone has a malware, a Trojan horse on the computer or a, a malicious, another except, extension for, us, for example, he can theoretically access your memory space and in the memory space of your computer of your browser somewhere the private key and the seed phrase is being stored which means that if there is another malicious program that's running in your computer it's theoretically if it's advanced program it can access those seed phrase and basically extract get access to your metamask wallet or maybe all the accounts that are associated with this wallet and steal all your nfts all your tokens and this is super scary and what you're gonna do what you're gonna do how you're gonna protect the answer is simple hardware wallet hardware wallet is basically a device that looks like this one it looks like a thumb drive a small and nice thumb drive as you can see over here where you can connect to your computer this is an entire operating system like your computer but a tiny small one it has all the necessary applications to run wallets to run wallets to interact with blockchain and this is called ledger device it's the official ledger device you can purchase it from the official ledger.com website or, or if you want to support me and my goal here you can use my affiliate link in the description below i will get a small commissions you will pay the same price win-win everyone wins and also you can get even a discount by clicking my link below you can get 21 percent discount for a ledger of backup packs so if you want consider using the link in the description below and basically using this wallet you can connect it to your computer and it means that the the private key and all the sensitive information regarding your wallet the seed phrase the private key will never touch the memory of the con computer which means that it's much safer way to store your nfts your tokens and in general interact with the blockchains and with the crypto world so if you want to learn more about ledgers how they work how to set them up check out my other video tutorials just search for johnny time ledger johnny time metamask the cool thing about ledger is that you can connect it with your metamask that basically the ledger will have all the sensitive information like the private key and the seed phrase and the metamask will all only 
only interact as a gateway to the blockchain. So you need to confirm twice transaction. You confirm them once in the MetaMask and on the second time in the Ledger device. So that's basically how it works. And if you want to find out more how to do it and how to secure your crypto wallets using hardware wallets, check out my tutorials by searching Ledger, Johnny Time, Tutorial, Ledger, MetaMask, etc. Also, I'll put the link in the description below. And yeah, that's about it. I'm really horrid, sorry to hear that you were, if you were victims of these attacks or other attacks, I'm trying here to do my best to help you get protected. Let me know if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below, feel free. Or if you have any further questions or you need any further help, feel free to join our free Discord community. Amazing people, amazing help. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, it means the world to me. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel so the algorithm will expose it to more people that eventually will protect themselves and won't get hacked. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next tutorials. Bye bye.